Hello, everybody. Is this the SCP stream? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That it is. Welcome, everyone. I stretch. But also, I'm excited to be here, and I'm excited you're here. Hello. Subdog is back for six months, says six months of gamer knowledge acquired from the godliest of gamers. Thank you, Etal Chat, Etal Chat. Sorry, you're still not gonna get mod. But you might get VIP if you keep going down that road. <laughs> Wink.
What's up, Timis Coppas, Metal Bit? Welcome back, Mob Squad. Hi, Vietnam. Potato. Sorry, you're only halfway through the VOD, but that's okay. Uh, you have two options now. Jump in and jack into the Matrix. Or have two VODs. <laughs> uh, the choice is yours. Lightning Rider, Lorag Chat is excited to be here as well. Nice. Good. My good sire, Magnus. What up? I heard there were SCPs. There are. The last one we got was a rubber ducky. And we absorbed it into our being. My collective consciousness is now at least 2% more rubber ducky. Hey, Clive. Saw this colorful meat. Lala Doria. Gamer Deathbot. Hello. <laughs> He can hear us. He knows. You can't swindle my credit card info. Too late. I already have. Ozak. Hello, hello. Joe Jester. The can. What up? Elusive. Everybody else is popping in here. Guess what? Guess what? I'm not wasting any more time. We're just going to jump in. And here's why. <laughs> I feel bad about yesterday. It's riding on my conscience. Yesterday it took like an hour for us to get off the ground because technical difficulties kind of set set us back a little bit. We had a couple game crashes at the beginning messing with video settings. So I just want to like make up for some lost time, you know? Get some lost ground. Pull the plug. We in. We're here. Um, yeah, I was not. I was not happy with the initial technical issues we were experiencing yesterday. However, I believe everything has been smoothened out. If you guys see any like frame slideshows, let me know. Because we, we basically we figured out the culprit was DirectX 12 not working or talking to um, my streaming program nicely. So, we're playing without RTX turned on, unfortunately. Even though it ran flawlessly at 60 frames per second on my computer, you guys could not see it. But you can see DirectX 11. I went ahead and bumped. Since we are playing DX11, I went ahead and bumped up uh, texture filtering and shadow res back to high. So it would be slightly more graphically sharp than it was yesterday. Slightly. This is SCP game. It's a game that is definitely inspired by that kind of that kind of stuff. It's uh, it's all redacted. This is this a spoopy game? Uh, it is not a horror game. Hold on, we got people just here. I don't even remember how to play. We got people just here. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to play. Where'd that guy go? I don't remember how to play. Maybe I do. We're gonna convert this dude to join my team. I got a Windows update. Restart to install the newest Windows feature update with the new features and apps. This one could take a little longer than the other updates. Not now. Select restart tonight. <laughs> we'll do it tonight. It's not a good time, Windows. I just started the stream. Why are there so many people? How did I miss that point blank? Don't let me die in the very first little fight that's happening right here. Hold on, Windows is still on the screen. Hang on, I have to like click a button. Uh, do not click restart now, whatever you do. Pick a time. I'm gonna click pick a time. Um, can I pick literally next week? At like 4 a.m. 4 4 30 a.m. Yeah, that's a good time. Monday at 4 30 a.m. Okay. Thank you. It was it was taken over at least a third of the screen. Let me just pause for a second, because I got in a little over my head there. Robert Ducky. Are you sure, Talix? This update might be important. We can wait. Oh, you guys would wait for me? Would you? That's really nice. 
This game looks fun. It is pretty fun. It's a lot of action, a lot of destruction. I'll show you some of that destruction. You got like telekinetic mind powers. Um, you got like dashes, um, mind control powers, multiple guns. You speak to. I'll, I'll give you a rundown once I defeat these enemies of like where we are in the story, so that you guys can follow along. All right. And the story kind of doesn't. I, I honestly probably can't even explain it, but I'll do my best. All right. Okay. Let's start. Let's start small. Start small. That was not a good melee, but I tried. Did I get him? Can I relax now? We're gonna go pick up these little uh, nodules on the ground. These are our health. So basically, um... Ooh, no, it's not it, actually. That guy has exited the building. I kicked him off the stage. He just got, um... Like a classic... Stage production cane just reached out from the curtain and grabbed him and pulled him off stage. How- how many are there? They're just here because? Alright, I'll, I'll show you how we can manipulate the terrain, so check this out. I got brain powers. My brain powers are pretty strong. And my brain gun is also pretty strong. And you can also just rip up concrete. You like the wall? Just take the wall. Use that as a projectile. You like explosive barrels? You don't like explosive barrels. Okay, well then... Just throw them away then. That's fine. I think we can relax for a second. Kind of started off on a... on the wrong foot. But yeah, it's just got, um... physics everywhere. And it's really fun just to push... force push boxes. Excuse me, I said force push boxes. I'm very weak. I'm sorry. I have not been uh, honing my mind. This is why you need to read every single day, okay? At least one chapter of a book a day to, to hone your mind. Make sure you s stay sharp. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to force push anymore. All right, let, 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 let me just freeze for a second there. We just got like a timed mission. There we go. There we go. Um, so, where we're at in the story so far, just a brief summary. You walk into a strange building that turns out to be, um, a building that moves often by itself, much like a Harry Potter house. Cannot be found, um, unless you have somebody, like, invite you into the house. So, it's called the oldest house, is what it's referred to. And it shifts around through the ether, uh, seemingly at random. And we just wander in under the pretext of looking for our brother Dylan. Because a long time ago, the main character here and her brother uh, were playing around in some place they shouldn't have been playing as little kids. And chat, what, what um, location? Were they at like a construction site or something? Where were they? They were they were like some dumpster or something. Anyway, uh, they were playing around when they activated a little device. They were they were at a redacted right, of course. They were playing around and they accidentally discovered some kind of interdimensional being. A junkyard, yeah, I think it was a junkyard, and one of the pieces of junk was like a special object of power or something. Um, and a trans-dimensional being appeared and communicated with them. And um, they were scared, so she ran away and left her brother behind. And the FBC, is that what these guys are called? The FBC came on and arrived on the scene because they're the ones that handle all these strange objects. And um, took her brother for questioning, I guess, and possibly for other nefarious reasons. 
and um, apparently whatever they interacted with was something of a very supreme importance that we have yet to figure out what that importance is. So anyways, she's been looking for this building for a long time. She wanders in. Nobody's there. She walks in, goes through security, which doesn't exist because nobody's there, and um, walks into the director's office to find him lying on the ground dead in a pool of his own blood, having shot himself in the head. So she picks up his gun that, of course, turns out to be uh, itself an object of power, akin to something like Mjolnir or Excalibur, which then binds itself to her consciousness. So the gun has directed her to become the leader of this organization. So she's immediately become the director via the mind gun. And every single person in the whole facility recognizes her as the director. So she's the leader now of the whole organization and um, is fumbling around kind of trying to not go insane. She's going crazy. She started going crazy literally from the first chapter. Uh, she's talking, I, I presume, to what, what's the thing's name? Polaris? Is that the name of the being that's like in her mind? So she speaks to Polaris, um, who never speaks back. But she could just be talking to me, because I'm uh, maybe I'm Polaris. And um, is this the actual plot? This is the actual plot. What you have to understand, Kaltari, is that this is by Remedy Games. Uh, they're, actually, that's not what they're called. They're probably like Remedy Entertainment. But anyways, it's by Remedy. And they're the makers of Max Payne. They're the makers of Alan Wake. And they're the makers of Quantum Break. So this game is equal parts edge and equal parts absolutely doesn't take itself seriously. So for every edge cutscene that you're going to see, you're going to see an equal amount of live action goofy scientist explaining important plot point. There's live action video in the game. Um, there's people getting donked by canisters at full force until they're dead. Uh, there's like B-movie camp on purpose. It's got it all. So if you see something that's like rubs you the wrong way, give it a break until you can see the full tone of the game. Thanks for catching us up. So at this stage in the game, we are currently trying to get to the Black Rock Quarry to find a special prism that we can put into a machine. And I have no idea what that machine is going to do. All I know is that it's gonna, I put some punch cards where they're supposed to go so that the prism could react with the machine properly, I don't know. But there's, um, this lady that really wants me to do this for her, so I guess I'm gonna do it. We'll find out. And also, um, occasionally we will come across SCP-like objects that if solved, there's always, like, some thing that needs to be solved. We will inherit that SCP's power. So, if we find, like, a one of them was a, um, a teleporting horse from a merry-go-round. And once we got access to the teleporting merry-go-round horse, we absorbed the ability to dash short distances and teleport ourselves. And so on. Does that make sense? Anyways, are we all on the same page? <laughs> Lala Doria, thank you for the bits. It says, good morning, Chad and Ital in Vietnam. It says, 500 bits. Giggle, 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 giggle. Hey, Italics, this is Alex Taylor, CEO of Cox Enterprise. Just want to drop in, let you know you suck, and all of us here at Cox hate you. Vietnam has been hacked. We knew that Cox was being more aggressive uh, than usual lately. But now we know that they have a an actual agent on the scene. So I'll keep my eyes peeled. At least I know who is personally throttling my streams. <laughs> thanks for the 500 bits, Cox. And Lala Doria, thank you for the 200 bits. And Value SRL says, thanks for catching us up. Back for a fourth month. I appreciate that. You know what we haven't done yet? We haven't done one of these time missions. Go to Central Research. I think it's going to be just spawning enemies, but it might be some good resources. Oh, and also you get this overworld map, kind of like Resident Evil. Um, it's not as good as Resident Evil, but... Like the map, I mean. But, um, 
it does kind of let you just free roam wherever you want to go. You get different varying levels of key cards, so there's reasons to go back to areas that you've been to already to unlock uh, the rooms that were previously off-limits to you before. And you can kind of just go wherever you want, whenever you want. Right now, we're going to go to uh, Control Point, which is this game's equivalent of a bonfire. And at this control point, you can not only fast travel between all control points that you have unlocked across the map, but you can also heal to full, uh, level up a small ability tree, which we have been progressing down. You can upgrade your weapon form and unlock mods for your guns. And um, countermeasures is little quests that you can do. Kill enemies without dying, and this is for like resources that you can craft upgrades and stuff with. Executive sector, I don't even know if when we're gonna be there. Using grip, we don't use grip anymore. Um, kill enemies with the service weapon in spin mode, we're not using spin right now. Kill his troopers, we'll definitely find one eventually. Mold hosts, we'll probably find one eventually. Okay, you can do three at a time. But yeah, we're gonna fast travel. Also, this is your respawn point, so your last activated control point is where you're gonna respawn. What did, it, what did it say I need to go for the side? I guess I should actually mark it on my map. That'd be a good start. Uh, research, hiss nodes, go to central research. Central research. There you go. Let's see what it is. It's probably, I guess it's just gonna be a lot of enemies. I have no idea. Did we get cute clothes? We have no unlockable costumes yet. Maybe we'll get one eventually. I think at least a couple of them are pre-orders, if I had to guess. Uh, there's probably more. Shastan, Apitex, Fortune Shark. Hey, guys. How's it going? Cox has infiltrated chat. Everyone's a suspect. Alright, so right now we're playing with um, the charge shot as well as the shotgun. I kind of want to switch this up. Also, can't we upgrade the base tier pistol? Um, upgrade grip? Yeah, we need four house memory. I have insufficient material. Okay, I would like to try some of these upgrades. But nonetheless, perhaps we should uh, change some of these into the other guns. Like, I did kind of like spin. We've been playing with shotgun a lot. Maybe we should do spin plus the original grip. We haven't played with original grip in a while. Also, I'd like to get rid of all the tier one... We are way past tier one at this point, I think. With reckless abandon, I'm going to kill all tier one upgrades. Okay. And uh, we got ammo cost per shot and energy gained from headshots, and that's kind of it. Okay. Eventually, we're going to unlock a second and third weapon mod for each one of these. My personal mods are health recovery on element pickup, so I get more health when I run over elements, and then my energy to throw stuff recovers faster. Let's try that out. Here's pistol. Yeah, ignore those floating people. Uh, they just live here. They exist here, you know. This is their home. All right, here we go. Whoops. <laughs> I just threw that chair at him. He didn't know how to react. I accidentally, like, shotgun hand that chair into him. And yes, I now have the power to throw bodies of dead people at their friends. As well as convert them to my team. Hey, friend. there. I get the impression there's someone behind me. Oh my god. There's a lot of action happening down here. Oh yeah, I can do this now. <laughs> Hi. Do you guys see this guy? I just threw him into a rocket! Oh 
this must be their little spawn area. We need help. Reinforcements. I forgot that I have insane headshot damage. Yeah, I have the headshot mod right now. There you go. These guys are all dead, I guess. We need to kill eight more enemies without dying. If I can just kill eight enemies without dying, I get an award. I actually really don't like the pistol. So I'm gonna switch it again. I like the spin a lot. The pistol, not so much. Shotgun is my friend. Pierce is pretty good. Pierce is nice in case a big boy enemy comes. All right, can, what, can this hallway just chill out for two? You don't have to fight, you can actually just run away. They might follow you, but like, where's my other light? Spooky, I just wanted it to be like horror mode. <laughs> the light like went off. Chargoth, thank you for the 200 bits. Your cheer has unlocked some rewards for people in the chat. Combat looks really good, yeah, it's really smooth. But they do a good job of, like, dangling the carrot on a stick, so you're, there's always another power around the corner if you, uh, explore some more, play some more. Uh, let me see what- what is my objective right now? Destroy his notes. Go to central research. Let me just look around for them. I don't know where they are. I'm not sure where they are right now. Let's take a peek. Ooh, that was a long distance rocket. I feel like it's down here. So that energy bar at the top is how much I can dash. I wanna say it's these. Yeah, it is. Okay, it is those. So I think enemies are just gonna constantly spawn while I look for the nodes. We got supervisors down here. I need one. Two nuts. I need like three more. Can you hiss at the hiss? Hiss with me, sisters. Hiss. Hiss with me, sisters. Together we will waste as much screen time as possible. One more? So if we're the director, why are they attacking us? Okay, so that's a good question. Uh, these guys are attacking us because they are possessed by the Hiss. That's a big boy. That is a big boy. Oh, we got, we got a lot of enemies coming in here. I might be in over my head because I'm not actually dealing with them. I just need one more glowing red chunk of rock. I'll explain as soon as I have uh, completed this segment. But these are not actually the like people that work here. I want to say it's like up. We don't want to jump down. Maybe you do want to jump down, but not yet. I know I've already been through here. I need one little glowing chunky rock. I think we have to go up. Probably past all those guys. I think it's up that way, actually. All right. You guys know Dark Souls rules? You just dodge past all enemies. All right, now we got to deal with you. <laughs> the floating chair guy is the scariest one. Ooh, that does some damage. Okay, I completed the quest. I completed the quest. <laughs> I like T-posed off the ledge. It's okay, I completed my mission. Rip 50 streak again? Did I really not get the 50 streak again? To be fair, there were a lot of people up there. Anyways. 
Let me explain. So here's what's happening in the game. This is why the game's fun, because it's like, hey, you did the thing, you don't have to do it again, you don't have to get to a save point, it remembers your progress, you go back to your last bonfire, aka control point, you get to keep all those resources. Now, you do have some really annoying people here. I wonder if I'm safe while I'm in this menu. Either way, I'm going to fast travel because I don't need to be here anymore. Uh, where I do need to be is heading towards the redacted area on the left. So, furnace chamber would be nice. 44 out of 50. I'll never get the 50 streak, ever as long as I shall live. Hey, Minty Fox, welcome back. How's it going, everybody? We just did a little side quest, which was, uh, we haven't done a time mission yet. That's just for resources, so you can get craftable materials, so you can upgrade. Anyways, uh, the story so far is that the entity that we have dubbed the Hiss has infiltrated the building known as the Oldest House, which we're currently in. This whole facility is the Oldest House. It's massive. Nobody knows the full extent of it. It teleports at random um, because of unknown, as of now, reasons. And uh, the Hiss has been infecting the minds of the employees who work here and converting them for their ends. We don't know why. So you've got, like... Uh, articles and case files that you can actually read regarding those. Like, here's the Hiss Distorted. Hiss Distorted agents can render themselves invisible and emit a powerful concussive blast with when in close range of their target. Uh, the Hiss Distorted is unique in that it wields a paranatural ability unknown to the Bureau. How does invisibility work? Does it become resonance? Do, does the Distorted become resonance temporarily? Does it use Hiss Resonance to refract light? So it's like this hiss is creating monsters out of the people who worked here. And it's one of the SCP monsters, basically. Does that make sense? The only way to avoid being turned into a hiss is to be wearing one of these um, vests that they have. Let me see if I can even find... Um, there's definitely one of these is about the vests. Is it a case file or research and record? These are the different SCPs that we found so far. A uh, floppy disk, a home safe. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to telekinetically gather items and debris from their surroundings. And by honing this power, we're able to make our, our rock shield, basically. Discovered in the basement of a home in Redacted, Ohio, the object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to opening abandoned safes. After months of failure, the owner attempted to open it with explosives. The object survived with no physical damage. Bureau agents were dispatched, now confident of its paranatural nature. Blood occasionally emerges from the seam around the object's door. Tests confirm the blood is not human. X-rays taken of the object indicate that something is trapped inside, though the images are always blurred, which indicates the contents of the object are moving. All attempts to open the object have been unsuccessful. We also got the X-ray light box. Uh, no unique procedures needed for containment. The object is a light box used to examine X-ray images. The images cannot be removed from the light box. The information on the image belongs to a patient named Redacted. The object allows para-utilitarians to forcefully seize an individual's react Redacted. The seized individual becomes blank to the user. The effect lasts so long. Once released, the seized blank as a result of the psychic trauma. Uh, the object has no current binder. I guess I'm the binder now. A janitor named Blank bound the object at St. Anne's Hospital. Soon the building's occupants were something long sentenced by him. The Bureau dispatched an emergency response team the perpetrator to seize the perpetrator and the item. Fatalities numbered in the blank. <laughs> it's a lot of redacted. I know these are government files. Anyways. There was a rubber ducky we got. We find altered items sometimes, including a, a possessed Christmas tree that speaks, repeats words and phrases. <laughs> um... Where's the one with the... I don't know. Here's the hotline. We haven't looked at the hotline in a long time. 
there's a whole page about the- they wear a vest. I got sidetracked, but they wear vests, okay? And somebody here invented the vests, and they seem to work. We don't know exactly why. All right, let's go. Uh, find the Black Rock Quarry. Okay, we gotta go this way. This is the chamber. And the chamber leads to Redacted. I think you can't go here until you get the dash or the ability to jump up here. It's also locked. Oh, there's another way in. There's another way in. I almost missed the good game! Hey, Technotuck. We were just explaining um, what everybody missed out on before. Giving a little background on the story. Yeah, I can't. I cannot actually make that jump. We turn the graphic settings up to ultra for today's stream. Darling invented the vests. That's right. The scientist named Darling. And we don't know why they work, but we do know that the other leader, the former director, did not like that particular scientist anymore after they invented the vest and recommended that they be worn. And we're not really sure what went down between them, but we know that they did not like each other at the end. The director, of course, is dead. Okay, I'm getting the impression that I don't know where to go. Am I crazy, or doesn't the map... I guess it's up? Because that looks like a pipe. But well, I don't think we've ever even been up there, have we? That's... Okay, well, that doesn't go anywhere. Is it, like, much higher than this? It's gotta be, um, that catwalk, right? I don't think we've... Can you climb this? I guess you can. There might be some stairs if you just keep your eyes peeled. But it's definitely like that catwalk up above. Unless there's another way to get over there. I've, I've already gone, tried to go through the furnace chamber and I didn't see anything. Yeah, how do I go up to the next level? I wonder if there's a better... There might be a better, um... Teleport. Let's try... Fast traveling to the control room. That looks like it's pretty high up. You need to go to direct, directed, <laughs> redacted director. <laughs> the redacted director will tell us everything we need. Sector elevator, that's not. I don't know. Actually, he doesn't know, actually. We're looking for Black Rock Quarry, so I assume just... They have a lot of signs everywhere. Yeah, we're definitely going the wrong way. Chat, not a good time to start off lost at the very beginning. I know where I need to be. It, just, it does say find the Black Rock Quarry through maintenance. So we know it's in maintenance, right? That might be the only clue that I need. All right, so maintenance has its own. This, all of this is maintenance. We've already tried the furnace chamber. I don't think I have any way through that door. We don't, there's black rock processing, but that's not it, right? Unless it's through the Atlas chamber but it's clearly highlighted on the left. See, Black Rock Quarry up and left. Except the door is locked, because this is a shortcut. That you're gonna unlock later, Dark Souls style. Um...
just redacted. Did we ever go through this? Central maintenance is this way. Atlas chamber, black rock processing that way. What is this? <laughs> I don't remember any of this. Redacted doesn't know. Okay, remember we went through all the trouble to connect these up together. The bridge. Hi, streamer. I will join you guys after I disassemble my desktop setup for travel. Well, there you go. Well, they want to make sure we didn't forget about our friends. Trust me. I didn't forget. We didn't forget. I only have to kill 50 enemies without dying. All right, look at the signs. Field training, sector elevator, power plant. Bathrooms, <laughs> anybody got a pee? Oh my God, we're all the way back here. Okay, so I'm clearly missing something obvious. It just says, find the black rock quarry. Okay, I'm gonna follow the signs. Furnace chamber, that way. Is, does it say black rock quarry that way too? Coolant pumps. Gotta be more signs. What does that sign say? Oh! <laughs> I, for some reason, thought uh, that there was a ground down there. Honestly. Oh, what's the death counter? Hey, where's the death counter? All right, well, it's not the Atlas Chamber. We know we know where to go. We just don't know how to get there. Maybe I was on the right track before. It, it can only be two places. How do you get to that little cross beam from the power plant? There was ground down there. You just had to go down far enough to find it. Because we already went in here, but maybe I missed something? I feel like this is a shortcut for later. Because you definitely can't jump up there, and I can't fly yet. And if I can't fly yet, and I don't, I definitely can't dash far enough. Maybe I can't. Oh, get the fall jokes out of the way early. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's how they want you to do that. Plus the door's locked anyway. Cuz you're going to loop back around through this. So there's only one other way to go, right? Can we all agree there's only one other way to go? It's from the center of the power plant. But how do you get up there? Some people just want to watch the world burn. Are they insinuating that the janitor comes in here and plays the a VHS or DVD of a fireplace to feel like some kind of warmth or comfort inside the janitorial break room? And that's how sad he is? I think that's the insinuation. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Not this time, boys. See? 
Black Rock Quarry, right there. That doesn't go anywhere though. I mean, this is it. That's it. Right? All right, if somebody wants to actually spoil it for me, go ahead. I've looked enough. Because the last place we did was field training. This is where we came out last night. Spoilers have been enabled. Just move the box. I got redacted for redacting a little too much. I feel like a redacted. That says Black Rock Quarry. That's where I need to go. You're supposed to find the Black Rock Quarry. Maybe if I read, is there like a description? Marshall sends Jesse to Black Rock Processing in the maintenance sector to retrieve more prisms. She promises to tell Jess Jesse what she knows about Dylan. Jesse! <laughs> Jesse returns to the maintenance sector. She rescues Arish and a company of rangers from a hiss attack. Black Rock Processing in the maintenance sector to get more prisms. We already did that. Maybe you're supposed to go through the pipes? I know you're supposed to get up there, because I can because I can see... Wait, that's not even where we're looking. Yeah, this is the pipe. Are you supposed to go through the pipe? There's no way to go to the top of this, though. Weird that I genuinely feel lost. If I, um... So one way is through the furnace chamber. Is there a way up through a different sector? I don't like this feeling of being uh, totally uh, dark, in the dark and alone. Let's look for some more signs. Furnace chamber. It's the only mission I've got. So, find Black Rock Quarry is literally the only mission. Coolant pumps we've already been to. Can you climb up the big wires, then use the stairs? Um, there's not really much... ...that can be climbed. Is she up here sniping? I'm trying to remember where we came through last. There's the elevator, but that's not, um helpful right now, I don't think. Wait. Level 3 Black Rock Quarry. Hold on. Is this it? I push this. <laughs> Does this button do anything? This is like a fake door. Oh, okay, here it is. <laughs> here it is. Level three? We've never, ever seen this elevator before. This is the first time. And it's also, look on the map. It's on the opposite side of where, look at where my little red arrow is spinning around. I would never have come looked over here on purpose. We just had to find it on accident, apparently. Questionable uh, map design, but what can you do? All right, we are now on the Black Rock Quarry floor. We got like key card number five. There you go. We're we're in. We made it. We can we can progress. Okay, we got a fast travel point up here now, so we don't have to mess with that again. Bonfire has been cleansed, and the game can go on. To be fair, Kaomi, there are about five elevators in the game. And that one's not on the map. To be fair. But hey, we found it, so let's just be happy that we found it. 
and move on. Streamer dies in mall searching for Macy's on first floor. <laughs> Let's just let me take a second to recover from that. <laughs> also, to be fair, there were at least two signs that pointed towards the quarry that were blocked off currently. Anyway. Major Cluster says, just checking in, how's the game so far? Well, we uh, we played it some yesterday. It's really fun. The map is hard to navigate. But besides that, the, the gameplay is really fluid. And you should be able to, to see that here in just a second after we read some lore. But the lore is actually worth reading because it kind of describes a lot of the things you're going to be interacting with in the game. Dynamic energy extraction and conversion. Um, I think that there was a NSC-01. Are they calling... Are they calling, like, SCPs NS... No. Right? Anyway. Uh, Chief Trench made this before he became director. Safe method of extraction of blank. So some some monster that was here they were extracting excess energy from while acting as a humane way to house him. The coolant pumps keep the container and its blank from overheating while the energy is siphoned. It's then conducted to the converters. The electricity produced powers the entire bureau, making us completely self-sufficient, effectively invisible on the New York grid. After NSC-01's disappearance, the occupant was restrained and a second model was built. NSC-02 possesses built-in spatial anchors that are designed to prevent translocative effect from its occupant. So they've got some SCP monster down there, and uh, they're using it for free energy. And I believe this may be... Some pictures on the scene. Uh, chat has been officially redacted. I'm shocked that it took this long. Oh, we've never converted one of you before. Feels good to mind control one of these flying boys. <laughs> He's on my team now. Hey, friend. You having a good time? I hope you enjoy the last few seconds of your meager, insignificant existence because you're about to pop like a 4th of July firework. Do I need this for something? Black Rock Quarry is this way. Hey, look. It's the catwalk that I knew that I needed to get to but just didn't know how. We recognize that, right? Luckily, I have level five clearance. There's another big elevator. Shelter, max occupancy, six persons. No more. Protection rating three. You guys want to live in here? How long do you think you could realistically live in here before you went insane? Like, if I put you in- if I put three of you in here, and said, um, can you make it for six months? Who gets the middle bunk? You know what I mean? Do you switch it out every month? I would not want to be the middle bunk. Bottom bunk at least is easy to get in and out of. Top bunk, you're on the top. Nobody can see you. Nobody- you can see everybody else. You get to peek over the edge and look down at the other ones. Why can't the beds be longer? I mean, they're probably long enough, but are they wide enough? <laughs> I would fall down. Yeah, I'm gonna lock you into the vault. You've got a sink. You've got a toilet. This is- this is the toilet, by the way. Trash can. Fire extinguisher in case the concrete catches on fire. 
Um, metal, sh some concrete shutters. T two chairs. One of you has to sit on the bed. Service, shelter service hatch. I don't know what goes in there. Yeah, you got you gotta just, that toilet is wide open. Every day. You can, do you see how small this room is? Think about the smell. There have to be some kingly ventilation in here. Elevator's broken. Got no internet, no deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, is there internet in my, like, safety bunker? In my nuclear throne? You haven't thought of the smell! <laughs> I should watch that episode again. I guess we just go down this way. We haven't... Why did I go all... I went all the way up the elevator on the other side so I could go down here. What is this? First of all, iframes, iframes god. <laughs> Secondly, how big is this elevator? What's my other gun? Charge gun? I think it's broken. Powerful shot. I like, and it goes through. It has piercing damage. You went all the way to the wall. Am I the only one that's bothered by the fact the toilet is attached to the sink? Water is surely a valuable resource that's rare in that bunker. I thought you were talking about the germs, but no, you were talking about the water. I was just thinking about, you know, put it so close to your toothbrushes. You don't want to poop that close to the toothbrush. So who did I throw that at? I need a friend! A good friend. Be gone, foul demons! Well, we found the quarry. Do we have any ability points? No. Can I make the gun upgrade? Also, no. We need four house memory. What was the thing that just popped up? Research major targets. I guess if I wanted to grind resources, but I hope that I'll just get some by playing. Yeah, I want to see some more MC Escher painting, um, crazy environments. Which I think we will definitely find if we keep going. I have to assume if the game starts with the protagonist losing her mind. By the way, she has repeatedly stated, oh, I don't know if I ever want to leave. It feels kind of good to have this power to just be down here, locked away. It feels good to kill. She didn't say that, but like, you know, she may as well. <laughs> it feels good to have this kind of, oops. I didn't do that, by the way. You can only hold it for so long. Look at those particle effects! I do like the miasma that appears after they die. Oh god. <laughs> I love it. she's like, no, I don't want any of those little boxes or little tubes. I want the entire palette. It's 
where I killed this guy and I'm using him as a projectile. I can't wait till I can throw rockets and pick people up and tear them in half with my mind. was mashing dodge. He stunned locked me with one melee, took me to half health, then shotgun me. I thought I was playing Gears of War 2. That was a classic sprint forward melee shotgun. I was that guy, by the way. I played Gears 2 shotgun every single time. I had no regrets, no remorse. I mean, that guy cheated. We can all agree. I can do shotgun. Okay, I guess I gotta be efficient. I can be efficient. for one special. Let me show you how it's done, chat. Let me show you how it's done. I'm gonna be one of the trailer clips, you know? I'm gonna be like, look how good these gamers are. Look how talented all these gamers are here on Twitch. This one's from Italics, okay? He had a nice little series, a nice little uh, line that he was running there. Tony Hawk style. Really perfected that run. Is this the thing? Why do I feel like I'm not going to be able to come back the other way? Isn't this the way I was trying to go the first time? This is not where I'm supposed to be going, but I'm going here anyway. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! I'm just gonna die down here! <laughs> How was I supposed to know? That the, the f floral arrangements on the ground were instantly poisonous. I think I died more in the last hour than I did all day yesterday. Here's the good news. I'm gonna show you, show you the game's checkpoint system. Remember how we spawned here the last couple times? And I had to fight, um... I had to fight the same group of enemies? Why does it spawn me face the wrong way? Now the enemies do not come back. Okay, usually when you clear a room, the enemies don't come back because it remembers that you cleared that room. This is maybe the exception. Uh... <laughs> Alright, listen. We all make mistakes. I wasn't... I wasn't even being careless. I just wanted to unlock the shortcut. That's all I wanted. That was way overkill. <laughs> Imagine getting your head smashed against the concrete like that. All right, seriously. Let's let's just let's just go. Let's just go. There's time for shortcuts later. What's this? This could be anything. No, that's the way we went last time and died. Don't go that way. Take it seriously.
How about we redacted? What? Excuse me. What are you suggesting, Zabetka? What are you suggesting? How come I can't go through there? We need to go around. Redacted thumbnail. Alright, it's time to get good. No more dying because I gotta get 50 kills before my next death. Those are the rules. Federal Bureau of Control. We need additional diamond blades ASAP. Continuous rim this time to get the clean cut research once. This black rot shit is tough. We're going through blades like we're made of damn things. The dimensions for these slabs of black rock they want are outrageous. Double last order. Get them. What, 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 what are they? What are they talking about? They're trying to like cut the. I don't like the way that is moving like a claymation. It's freaking me out. Ooh, careful. Is there something down here? What's plus two? Coronis, that's a minus two. What did I do? Oh. I see. <laughs> I knew something was wrong, but I wasn't sure what. I think we've got a friend. You think that means he's guarding something? <laughs> what is going on down here? Who <laughs> are these, like, bullet sponges? <laughs> they burp on you, okay. I thought that was gonna hurt me. Now I'm... <laughs> That's what tailgating looks like nowadays. Energy boost. Personal mod. Plus 13% energy or evade energy down. I got energy recovery speed up. Maybe just having more energy is better. Because if you just have more energy, then you can spend it longer. Which makes a lot of sense in my opinion. Launch efficiency. Only tier two, cheaper by 10%. Why are they down here? They're like camping down here? They got a tent? I guess we'll find out. Quarry worker incident. L Linda, I saw David last night. I was working late in the quarry when he stumbled out from behind some black rock. Looked like hell. I called up medical right away. He was half starved, missing for two weeks, so I guess it's not a surprise. While I was waiting for someone to come help, he kept telling me about some carving, something about an ancient tree. I couldn't really understand him. When the medics came, they brought security and grabbed David and hauled him off. They interrogated me a couple hours about what he told me. Anyway, I know you're on the next shift, so I thought I'd leave this for you. He was your husband. You have a right to know. The way security was acting, well, I don't know if we're going to see David again. Sorry, Linda. Burn this after you read it. She didn't burn it. What, did they find the, did they find the ancient Christmas tree? This looks like a little secret area. It does kind of look like a little secret area. Alright, we gotta run past your, your boy. And figure out how to jump over this properly. I think I need to wait until we rise up a little bit higher. high as we go. Whoa. This place looks cool. Whoa, it does look cool. Expected. Look at that. There's your screenshot like uh, review screenshot moment right there.
We got a lot of floating rocks. Well, this is Black Rock Quarry. Let's go check the dead end first and see what we find. Maybe nothing. Maybe nothing yet. Because there's a, there's a big spotlight on this area for some reason. I like this a lot. Yeah, the just the visual style overall. They've done a lot with very little, as far as, like, there's not much color here in this map. It's just, it's Black Rock Quarry. But, the way that they do the, the lighting, and, like, the fog and the mist, and the reflective qualities give it a lot of personality and character. Activate the explosives. Okay, before we activate the explosives, I think it would be a very good idea, and in our best interest, to do this. How do I how do I do it? Oh, that's where the explosives are. I thought this was a circle that I could activate to like spawn here. Oh boy. <laughs> like skateboarded over the rocket. Let me get an army. There, make my own army. Hold on, guys, can we freeze for a second? I need to read about the quarry incident that started all this. During my weekly safety inspection to the quarry, I discovered an entire crew in state of blank. The whole team was redacted, aligned, and staring in a uniform direction. The city in the distance. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained blank for more than blank minutes until I had to resort to literally blank. Afterwards, they were dazed and could not provide any rationale from their, for their behavior or any specific memories of engaging in it. My official recommendation for any crew working in the threshold area is to shorten the length of their shifts or to carry out mandatory psychological evaluations on a weekly basis, preferably both, and maybe we should order another expedition to the city. What's up, Aku? I passed out sometime after we had a vision of this place. What happened? Well, we had to look for this place for like... 20 minutes, and then we eventually found it. And here we are! I love how my only strat was punch that guy. Hold on! My only strat was like, punch that dude. Oh god. We've got, uh, we gotta be careful here. Okay, I'm dead. I think I'm dead. There's two of these guys. There's two of them. I'm dead. I'm dead no matter what. I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. I don't want to die. I, w I was trying to be careful and then I exploded. Uh, you, uh, you always got a plan to get punched in the face. It's Mike Tyson. Thank you, Arcnator. Uh, I hope I redacted as well. What should I do? Did we, we got one floaty rock boy on the left, one floaty rock boy on the right. How do you heal? Killing enemies. And then running over their elements that they drop when they die. It encourages very aggressive play style. Um, I can make a rock shield, but then what? I can make a rock shield and then what? Here we go. Alright, ready? Three, two... I'm dead. Instantly. Sometimes game is hard. Sometimes game is hard. What's kind of annoying, actually, about dying is they don't... They never want you to insta-die, so if there's a rocket that does enough damage to kill you, it just takes you down to one hit till dead. So you get, like, a final stand, no matter how much damage you take. Don't turn me this way. Please don't make me... I'm just gonna run past these enemies. See? It remembered that I cleared them. This is what I was trying to show you guys earlier. I think I just didn't finish clearing all of them. There's a couple. There's always going to be a couple. This way is locked. All 
All right, I think we just need... I think what's getting me killed, actually, is uh, trying to commandeer other people to join my squad. But yeah, I've definitely died more today than, like, the entire stream. Oh. Not what I expected. All right. Round two. I think I just get comfortable. I get too comfortable. We're supposed to just turn on the explosives, right? That was very sloppy. Turn on the explosives. We need to charge them like this. But you just want to try out all your different powers. Even if, like, it's not very effective. Like, the problem with the, uh, the mind control one is that it takes a long time to set up. Wait, there's one more. Is there one more? How do you sw why does why feel like the took that one right in the in, in the face? I gotta concentrate. I gotta redact it. I gotta focus on one at a time. Oh, they're getting like health back. From the orb. So you can only do so much to kill him right now. We can do this. It's like a boss fight. Oh. Do do, do do, do do, do do. I hear a rocket in the distance. I'm going to pause for a second because I need to breathe. I feel like I'm playing Dark Souls with guns. I know it's not even close to the same thing, but it feels like I've died more to the, like some of these enemies than gravity so far. Monka redacted. Monka redacted. What a redacted of a gamer. Give us nerds back. Subscribed like 30 minutes ago. Says, is this the streamer who actually died of pinwheel cheese for five months? Give us nerds back. I don't know if you're still there, but thank you. Sorry I missed you, sup. I appreciate it. Everything is Dark Souls with guns. That's because Dark Souls is just an RPG. That's very hard. Oh, I thought that was music. I thought that was like a musical cue. Punch it! <laughs> I 
I was half expecting some giant monster to come out of there. And it wants me to collect a shard. A magical shard. This could save us all! And there it is. Right where you led me. Speak with Marshall. Eyes, the prisms, they mean something to you. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. Hang on, how do you get to this loot HRAs? box? See, look, Dark Souls would do this. Then Dylan. Dark Souls would put loot in a weird place and be like, hey, get up there, figure it out. Just like Dark Souls, guys. They have bosses like in Dark Souls? Crazy. Dude, when, how, when did this guy get here? He's so <laughs> late to the party. Or maybe he just showed up because of the explosion. I don't know. How do I... Oh, he's coming back! This game's third person. Yeah, same thing, Karonis. Basically the same. You're right. Am I supposed to climb up here? Survey says... Probably not. No. How do you go up there? I want to get to this little... I think we have to go around to the left. Watch your head. Yeah, she must be pretty tired from sprinting literally everywhere in the game. Just like Banjo-Kazooie. So, um, is Rare still exclusively working on Sea of Thieves, or do they have another game in the oven? Maybe, maybe they just want to show you that thi Oh, here it is. I'm actually in the place I want to be. Oh! <laughs> it's okay. We're not dead. I panicked a little. I, <laughs> I thought I was going to fall, so I was self-fulfilling prophecy. This is Zoomer. I think just sprint jump is fine. Okay, oh my god, be careful. Shh, shh. Why? I didn't want to dash because it ruined me the first two times. You have to dash on that one. Not like this. Not like this! It's not even worth it! Ah! Look, to be fair, this is a this is what a jumping puzzle is literally designed to do. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a jumping puzzle. Can you not? Why are you up here? I missed the lore! Well, now I don't know which lore it is. Did I break the game? Nope. Am I on the right level? Where is the- where is the box? Wow, this is hurting my brain, and I'm the one- there it is. I see it. This is the same way we went up last time. We're gonna nail it this time, first try. Alright, you ready? Count it down with me. One. Two. Oh, there's more of them. That's why there's so- there's like at least two or three of those little balls rolling around. Third try, got it. In the bank, in the bag. Told you, first try. All that for? A launch efficiency mod. <laughs> Let's see if it was a tier four at least. It's a prime. 
Launch is 18% cheaper. Seize is 72% faster. Hold on. That might make it more useful. I still want health on pickup. That Nothing's going to replace health on pickup for me, but... Uh, throw things for much cheaper or seize things faster. Let's try see how fast is seize 72% faster. Oh, you could have gone this way. Is that what you're trying to tell me? You could have gone that way? All right, where am I supposed to be going? Go to the executive or central executive. There's a elevator up at the very top. All right, let's go to the very top. Nope, you couldn't have gone that way anyways. Idiot. Couldn't have gone that way anyways. See? Third, third try eat towel. That's why they call me third try eat towel. All right, the elevator is just up above me. But I have no idea how to get up that high. I think you have to go around this way. In Las Vegas, it's 4.20 p.m. PDT. What's the weather outside today? Think you can make it up there? I feel like you can. But are you supposed to? Yeah. More secrets. Shield boost and a shatter recoil efficiency mod. Shield strength up 43%. I think that's just uh, this. I like that it uses, actually uses the rocks from this area. That's pretty cool. Why do I feel like I missed something else up there? Is there something else up here? Because there's like some dead bodies. People camping in tents and stuff. Oh, come on. Alright, I'm on like the maximum rung you can get to. The elevator, I believe... Is, is it the restricted area? Maybe maybe we're not supposed to be up there yet. I mean, it's called restricted area. <laughs> if that's not prototype action, I don't know what is. Anyway, we found the loot. Now let's get out of here. We got what we were here to find. That way's closed. This way's a dead end. I think we're actually supposed to go through that door we unlocked. Whoops. Because we open this up, this links back to the power plant. Did we go all the way down here? We did, and this is where we died that last time. But honestly, it's not a big deal if we want to explore it again, because we have a uh, completed objective here, and I can just see why this actually exists. Are you on a No Man's Sky planet? I am. By the way, we're probably going to play No Man's Sky tomorrow, if you were curious. I just wanted to finish this game. I would have felt really bad if I didn't. I would have felt terrible buying this game for six... Okay, like, what... Why? That's a level one enemy. Why is there just a guy there? Oh well, we'll never know why that tunnel exists. We may never know why that tunnel exists. And that's okay. Because we got other stuff to do. I got two ability points. But I think everything costs three now. No, these cost two. Launch large enemies when their health is low. 50% more launch damage, shield strength up, win re I need third point to propel debris. I want that one. Let's just save that third point.
Take me away to Central Executive. And let's say hi. Hey, chat. Chat, instead of saying F, we say redacted. When are we going to see Metal Gear Solid? Uh, it keeps getting pushed back because there's always something else to do. I wasn't expecting to really play Control this week, but I just wanted to do it. Talks, I've come to say, you can do it! Thanks, Admiral Cheeseburger. I need that word of encouragement because I'm tired of dying. But that being said, um, how would any... If I can't do this, how would any normal human play this game? Is there even a diff... No, what I'm trying to say is, is there a difficulty slider? I don't think there is, which is kind of interesting to me. I like it that way. But still, game's hard. But we'll probably do Metal Gear Solid uh, sometime next week. I would guess. Maybe we'll start it on Sunday or Monday. It just kind of keeps moving back a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. It's not going anywhere. It, it's, it's been around for like 20 years. You know? We're not in any rush. It's installed. It's ready to go. Is, well, it's gone dark. No one's heard anything from them since the attack. Let's hope no news is good news. Let's hope. Hey, Talix, why are you so red? By the way, half of us use screen coloring software because our precious eyes hurt when we look at monitors. And we purposely turn our screen orange. We should be out there. Those things are killing our buddies while we babysit the execs. You heard Mark. It's not nighttime yet over here. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these para-utilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the person. Using redacted object of power as an example, some para-utilitarians can achieve a throw distance of blank, while others are only capable of as little as blank. What exactly determines a paranatural competence is unknown but it's largely believed that some blank exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue analysis, I have requested access to Northmore Records, considering he is one of the most accomplished para-utilitarians the Bureau's ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering the request. Yeah, they said they can only throw a pencil, like, six feet, and I am hurling bricks um, across the world, basically. No problem. Hey, no problem. Can't dash in here. Not allowed. Are there any more doors? Aren't there like a ton of doors that we could never open before? Huh. They must have just been trying to communicate with the, uh, the building next door, you know? They were trying to draw some cool pixel art on the windows, so the building next door was, uh... It's gonna make something back even cooler. C speed plus 60%. That's not even as good. <laughs> what if there was a post-it note enemy? I feel like this game is capable of achieving that. To whom it may concern, in case you were not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I will be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home. Sincerely, Jay Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. Can you guys solve for this? I'll give you 10 seconds. Go. Look, I don't even know cosines anymore, okay? Tangent, cosine, I don't even know. Isn't there at least one or two more doors? Yeah. 
Level one babies that we saw a long time ago. Agent death notification. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Potts, I regret to inform you your son Graham Potts was killed in active duty. The details surrounding his death are classified, but I'm honored to tell you that he died in service of his country. You can be proud of his courage in the face of danger and his commitment to protecting our nation against our enemies. He'll be remembered by his comrades and colleagues. I sincerely regret the pain this message will bring you. Take some solace in knowing his sacrifice helped protect the country he loved so much. His effects will be returned to you with all speed. Sincerely yours, Howard J. Murray, Deputy Chief of Communications, Federal Bureau of Control. Acoustic guitar for sale. Turns out it's pretty hard. If interested, see Greg in maintenance. $50. Food left in the fridge in containment break room 3B has been known to vanish. Plan accordingly. Remember to wash your hands. Your hands can spread the mold. Your hands can spread the mold. Hey, look, it's me. That's me. I'm the director now. We just haven't been here in so long. This is this is some old school combat from the beginning of the last stream. So many desks. Okay, okay, let's go do the mission. Let's go do the mission. We're not even procrastinating. I was just curious. I like the post-it note room the best. You can actually see it from here, which is kind of funny. They were communicating with the building next door. I told you. They were trying to see if anybody would respond. Where's Marshall? Marshall's like right here. Welcome back, Faye. She wants us to crack Darwin's personal logs? He'll crucify. Had to take a detour into the quarry. Oh, I took a big detour. I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. See the device on their chest. I tell you about Dylan once you helped us. That's what keeps them from this becoming is it. his. She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother. I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. We're going in These deep diving. people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. You could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I 
could use a friend right now. Relying on you to compile all of Darling's data entries from the past month. She wants us to crack Darling's personal logs. The Five ability points. Out. Upgrade spin too. Man, that's expensive. I would like to upgrade spin. Who does she think she is, authorizing that kind of data breach? She must think he's hiding something. And I agree. The HRAs are lying. I proved Darling knew more than he let us. Ugh. Him. Okay, fine, Dylan. We're going. Don't let him out. Hmm. I wonder what the first thing I'm gonna do is. <laughs> Probably gonna let him out. That would be my uh, arch nemesis that I need to defeat at the end of the game. I want to release shield debris at nearby enemies. That's what I want. Sounds fun. Um, shield strength, 50 to launch damage. I, launch damage is old faithful as far as I'm concerned, but there's part of me that wants to go down seize duration to see what else we can do, because they go off to the side. So let's up, um, seize duration. Mm, I don't know, but what, ha what happens if I like this one better? Do we have any more side grades? Or I can launch large enemies when their health is low. I do like that one. Nice room, thank you. That was a that was a good one. What comes after that? Launch large objects. Okay, so this was this was worth it. This was worth pursuing this side grade. It gives you more big big things that you can do. Two more to get the final personal mod slot. That's cool. So we're looking for. Reading, echoes, and samples. And we already have plenty of source. So much so that I might, um... Well, I'll, I'll just save it for now so we can upgrade grip and maybe actually use it. Find Dylan in containment panopticon. <laughs> I was like clicking your heels. Like, hooray, let's go. I'm so happy to be here. And the Panopticon is in, it said containment? Have we, do we have, where is containment? Executive, maintenance, reset, I think we just go to an elevator. It's ridiculous. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey. Containment sector, bingo. There it is. Anyway, I get kind of, I'm getting kind of annoyed that like every 30 minutes in the stream, uh, someone is discussing the like, they think the person looks weird, is animated weird, or sounds weird. For the record, containment sector. I don't think any of those Panopticon. things. Altered items. I like the character and the voice Maximum actress. Security. She's literally supposed to be a person that walked into this building for the first time ever off the street. And that's what she looks and sounds like. That got corrupted by an alien intelligence as a child. Energy boost. Pink? Pink is tier 5. Absolute. But I don't feel like 14% energy. Don't we have more? I think 12 maybe was the biggest one. So this is health recovery. I feel like I can't get rid of this. Maybe I can. But it just feels like I can't. Maybe 29% is not that much. But it adds up. I wish I could get a new health booster. Oh, you can just get 20% more health, period.
So this is the containment sector, which means we're probably gonna find the weirdest stuff down here. I think the animation on italics is weird. That's fair. While altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first, there's some key distinctions. Firstly, objects of power grant para-utilitarian abilities. Secondly, objects of power translocate anyone who makes contact to the astral plane. This is widely believed to be due to the blank's affiliation with objects of power. Not every individual is allowed in the astral plane, which indicates the blank evaluates who can or cannot enter. Thirdly, and this is not always the case, objects of power are much more paranaturally blank than altered items. Looking at the specific criteria that defines an object of power, or OOP, it is no wonder they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have blank altered items for every object of power contained within the Bureau. Yes, this is the actual containment breach. This is the containment sector where things are gonna get weird. As if they weren't already. How should we begin this? Maybe a little burst fire. I think they have flying exploders now. Which is a new combination. Everyone's got an overshield now. I missed. Let's test our new power. <laughs> that works pretty good. That's a nice shooting there, Federal Agent Eric. Are there more enemies through there that I should be concerned with? I'll be with them shortly. Sorry for snapping your neck with my psychic powers. Oh, we have a lot of new weapon mods. Chatter exclusive. Spin exclusive. I'm getting rid of tier ones though. I wish I could get my sec. I need to upgrade these to get my uh, my second tier open. A Wendy's four for four? Man, I was really in the mood for a Wendy's four for four yesterday, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I could not get one because it was too late. Minion kill didn't count for your kill streak. Oh, really? For my uh, 50 kills in a row without dying? That's too bad. This week, any documents that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention. Are there pink documents in here? Maybe. I was in the mood for Wonder Day too. I thought this would be an, a cool exploration Telltale-like game, but it's another shooter. See, Star Feline? Most people would say the opposite. Oh, I thought this would be a cool third-person action game, but it's just another Telltale Choices Matter for it. <laughs> yeah, right. See, I feel like most people are in that. Oh, Choices Matter, huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, next game, please. I, I always forget that I have the wrong gun out. Luckily, they don't know. They're like, we're... 
Hey, like, listen, when you're a floating red entity, a couple of stray bullets probably don't phase you, you know? That was, that was a whip. Whoop! Alright, we got a problem. I gotta go in. So quiet. Did we do it? Did I finally get good at the game? Perhaps. Or perhaps you just need to play a little longer. Hello, Doctor Strange. In the multiverse of madness. Is it 2021 yet? Can you guys just wake me up when it's 2021, please? Isn't that when it comes out? It's not next year, right? It's like two years from now. You have to check. You just have to look. Why does picking that up move everything? Because I guess when you have mind powers, that happens. Containment cell must be properly ventilated. Inhalation of the item smoke causes blank. Item is a baby carriage with a black shade and steel wire wheels. Left front wheel is slightly bent, causing a distinct wobble when pushed. Item produces smoke incessantly. Smoke density varies. Smoke is generated without apparent fire or ignition. An incident in Paris in 1979 brought the pram to the attention of the Bureau. Smoke filled an antique store where the pram was being sold, killing the shop's owner. Update. Detailed records of the events leading to the item's discovery were destroyed in an incident in the Panopticon. Interviews with living witnesses were re-performed at the order of the archives and records chief. When what comes out? Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. But it talks in you miss all the other Disney Marvel programming between now and then. Well, that's okay, because Disney Plus will still exist, and they'll all be on Disney Plus, so I can just marathon them. I'll just wake up, marathon anything cool that's come out from Disney on Disney Plus. Bingo. Done. Where am I? We're in logistics right now. We're looking for Dylan, but not over here. He's not gonna be over here. Hello? But I need some help here. this guy may be over here. Someone needs help over there. I'm here. What happened to you? I uh, got in a little scrap. Name's Horowitz. I, oh, ah. Is he going to be okay? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells is still in there. You got to get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We were hunting a runaway altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks? A threshold. The Bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. We, w we followed the altered item inside, but the way it was acting, we weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Oh, Wells is the medic. Please, you gotta get him out of there. I'll be fine. It's okay. Really. Did you know you Roof could just can patch me up later? Is he in fine. there? But I'll be back for you. I damn well hope so. <laughs> just 
Use the motel cord there. It should get you into the clocks. Use the so, motel cord. The threshold. What? Use the moat. Traverse the. Oh, the motel. Yeah, the good old motel. We haven't been there in a while. Remote thought. I don't know what remote thought is. Those are some high jumps. Making me jealous. That's at least like a four foot vertical. She's close to being able to dunk. Depending on how tall she is. Oh, this cord. <laughs> I see. I can do that. And then I guess we'll come back and then we can explore the rest of this little place. Ocean View Motel and Casino Entry Point. It's time to go gamble. The law of three applies. One. A two. A three. Welcome back to the motel. Only do this if you're the director. Aren't they? Did they just say they did it and they're not supposed to? It's a clock. Didn't, didn't he save the clocks? Uh, the time is 3.27 or 8. Who's laughing? The casino! I want to go to the casino part. It's me. It's me. I'm in there. You went a little too far. You're, um... You're st okay, we're still going. Three, twenty, eight. Okay, I can't take care of that right now. I'm busy with, like, official business. It's now 5.37. Wait for it. Dung. Wait, I didn't look at the time. Um, what, 7.47? Everything's a seven. Oh, I missed it. Wait, no, did we miss it? 7.47. Why would the creepy tune not blackjack again. Yes, we're doing blackjack again. Okay, we got the keys to the upside down pyramid room. And it's now exactly noon or midnight, depending on who you're asking. I wonder if there's any other details in here that are changed besides just the clock being there. I don't know where this is that we're going to end up. But that's me. And now I am the portrait. <laughs> this Wells guy can't be far. So what, he got stuck down here? I feel like I'm on Westworld Season 3. Except I'm actually worth paying attention to. Are they going to come through the, like, middle square? Oh, boy. Those must be the clocks he was talking about. 
You think I can pick each one of these up individually? No. Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, I see. Show yourself! How are we doing? How are we doing? Feeling like a badass. He got stuck in a Mario painting. <laughs> Apparently, yes. That is what happened. No damage taken. Flawless. That was specifically Pierce Zoom Burst Mod. Plus 17% zoom. What am I using? Damage while aiming, 24%. I mean, that's... that's gotta be better, right? Just 24%. You're always gonna be aiming with the... with the burst. That's kind of like its thing. That's what it does. We are on sealed threshold corridor. The map is not really gonna be of too much use to us right now. We just know there he is. Or no, that's just a guy. Ooh, clearance level nine. I'm like at five right now. <laughs> I just ruined the crime scene. Now they're never gonna know which clock did it. Shit. Go on. Are you Wells? Your friend asked me to come looking for you. That must be Horowitz. Glad he got out. I stayed back to help the others. Did a shit job of the clearing. You tried. That's enough. Horowitz needs your help now. How do we get out of here? We should head back through the threshold. We can look for other survivors as we go. We better hurry. Do Which I have a way? teammate for once? Just follow the blood. We haven't had a teammate the whole game. Let's go. I hope I don't have to keep him alive. Let's go. I instantly dart off in the opposite direction. I just wanted to show him how fast I was. Hey, Mom, look at me run. Look how fast I am. Look how good I can swim. Yes, honey. No, you're doing great. But look now, look, I'm doggy paddling. Yes, honey, I know. Keep keep going, you're doing really good. What's with the clocks? Threshold effect. This used to be a regular office wing before the threshold manifested. The forces at play in there got a hold of someone's old clock and started duplicating it. Now the office is abandoned and it's clocks all the way down. What is this film of? Are they gonna say anything? It's freaking me out that they're not saying anything. That's a very Sheldon smile.
How much B-roll is there? Unbelievable. This is like unused office footage. <laughs> She's looking at his butt. I saw that. We can go now. We're legally allowed to leave. I wonder if he'll just open fire. Yes. All right, I'm gonna help my man out. Wow, 76% fast is pretty fast, chat. I see you. Seventy-six percent makes a difference. I think I hit my teammate. He doesn't have a health bar. No, he does not. No, he does not. Locked. Think you can find a way around? There's a lot of clocks here, I just realized. Let me see. Let me guess. Climb the clocks. I didn't even mean so to. So, you came down here for an altered item? The anchor. Yeah. Life is gonna be a simple item to free. But the power of that thing has. I've never seen anything like it. The anchor. Everybody needs an anchor. What's your anchor? We'll see you in another light, brother. Agents arrived in the town of Jasper Crossing, Arizona. After the communications department intercepted multiple phone calls to local authorities regarding frozen people in the streets. Four of the five dispatched agents became paralyzed upon arriving. Assessment teams were dispatched. Variations of identification formulas were tried with ineffectual results. Agents resorted to using aerial photography to study the positioning of the individuals. Soon after, agents discovered the epicenter to be the local post office. Unaffected agents cleared the area of paralyzed civilians, animals, and bureau personnel before studying the item. Agents deemed susceptible to the item were tasked with interviewing and reinforming the public away from the site. The item was soon placed on a transport vehicle manned by unaffected agents. Air travel had been deemed too dangerous given the item's effect. Numerous reports of temporary paralysis were reported by civilians along the truck's route from Arizona to New York City. Making all those clocks sure seems like a waste of time. Good. Nice. Thanks. Good one. Give us nerds back. Didn't they? Th I don't think anyone That's made them. Shit. They just duplicated themselves, right? Isn't that the whole thing? Sealed threshold hall. Toggle map. Well, that's where I am. Oh, and that's where they are. Good attempt to take cover. Um, unfortunately, you decided to take cover on my side. We got some flyers? Oh, my favorite enemy. 
who I can now mind control. <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned. Dota World Championship, colorized, 2019. Did you just feel like the hairs in the back of your neck stand up? It's like when you feel a bug on your the back of your neck and you just slap as hard as you can. Oh, this is a big boy. Don't get cocky. That was like an E3 whip. That was like a, I've done this segment of the game so many times that I have to miss on purpose so that I don't ace this segment and make it look like there's some challenge. Okay. Do we have any like, uh, any little elements down here? Yes. To be fair, he's a kind of a wiggly boy right now. <laughs> what? This is him? Why did I... I did it, I guess. Ah! What if I died right then? That would have been so embarrassing. Toby, Neo Annihilator, what's up? How's it going, guys? We're here in Clockville. Where time puns are plenty. I mean, there's just there's just so many. Like, come on, give it up for my boy Wells. Give him a hand for how good he is as an NPC escort mission. If not now, then when, you know? The time is right. He's, he's pretty good as my uh, secondary hand on deck. Seems like he's getting wound up. Streamer has too much time. Clock. <laughs> Thank you, Darren. You just said the word, clock. And I guess that's gonna have to be good enough. Refrigerator supplement. Can you tell us why you left your building that day? LM, I was running out, of, out to get eggs. There was that corner store on 30th. That's why I left Michael there on his own. Knew I wouldn't be gone long. He was drawing at the table when I left, had his crayons out, happy. The building came down when I was a block away. I ran back and started digging. City workers found Mikey later, beside the fridge. The drawings hadn't come off. Tons of bricks fall on it and those drawings are still there. How does that happen? You kept the refrigerator after the accident. Why? It still had its drawings. God must have kept them safe for a reason, right? I'd get home from work and stare at them all night. I was in a bad way back then. Why did you sell the fridge with your son's drawings still on it? Well, they'd gotten stuck to it or something. I thought about cutting them off those magnets, but maybe it was better I don't hold on to them, you know? Gotta move on, everybody says. What's my fridge gotta do with that building collapse, anyhow? 
Is that the one that I just picked up, or was it a different one? No smoking reminder. Do not smoke in the quarry. Technically, it's an outdoor space. It's still part of the bureau. Therefore, no smoking still applies. Not only is it considerate toward fellow employees to refrain from inflicting the harm of secondhand smoke, it is also prudent to avoid any risk of gas fires, threshold reactions, and possible creation of altered receptacles. Under no circumstances should cigarette butts be left in the quarry. Thank you for understanding. Where are we going? Escort Wells to Horowitz. Well, we're climbing over all these clocks, but besides that... Did I miss anything? I feel like I missed stuff. Okay, imagine how hard it would actually be to walk over all these clocks. If you thought walking on Legos barefoot was hard, you would break both your ankles walking over this mountain of clocks. If you fell, there are hundreds of wooden pointy edges waiting to dig into your back. When it was clear we couldn't contain the altered item, Horowitz ordered a retreat. We got out, but Hiss were waiting for us. I took Horowitz to the motel court and went back for the others. That was brave of you. I'm the medic. It's my job. Hey, meet the medic. No ability points at all. But we do have a lot of weapon forms. Um, Upgrade shatter. I can't afford any of them. Feels bad. Corrupted samples, house memory, samples, and up undefined reading, and then thoughts and echoes. I got zero of these, but I have so many source. I guess we'll eventually be able to do those. But not yet. What? Not yet. Hmm. Not yet. Stop saying that. No. Shut up. I'm gonna scare them off. Evade energy 18% cheaper. That's tempting. That's tempting. I'll think about it. Okay, Mr. Dead Dog. What do you think of this? You know that airplane we brought in? Like, the actual proper airplane? Guess who they made catalog every individual piece of that plane to be examined for, quote, suspected altered status? I had to count every bolt, nut, piece of unconnected metal, and that's just on the exterior of the damn thing. Do you know how many pieces of hardware it takes to make an airplane? I do! I do! Which way should we go first? Which way do we go first? Oh, this is the bathroom. <laughs> Fully destructible bathroom! Not a single fight happens in a bathroom so far in the game, but that's not gonna stop the developers from going above and beyond. Sinks are not destructible, however. Don't break the sinks. You'll hurt yourself. Also, uh, Cox, leave me alone. Leave me alone. We're not far now. We're about to see the altered element. Traffic cones. Man, I hate when people are putting out traffic cones. And then, they always do it the wrong way around. I almost got into an accident the other day. Because somebody was out there putting traffic cones, and they put the one at the front down first, instead of the one at the back. So you're driving up, and they he wasn't done putting- he only put the first cone- two cones down. You gotta start at the back, so that people can move out of the way. So confused. Okay, well, do you guys drive? Look, let's say, let's say for example, um, 
let's say for example this is the emergency vehicle okay and traffic's flowing this way past the emergency vehicle okay instead of as traffic flows putting the cones back towards the traffic like here 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 so they go around it they started putting the cones up the front so like here's their car then here's the cones and they're putting them back this way as traffic is going against them so you don't see the cones because they're on the other side of the car because they didn't put the ones down that you could actually see first so I almost like hit the car because it was on it was like on a bridge. Fox, why was there a Coke can in the middle of the road though? Because idiots just roll the windows down and throw trash wherever. If you do that, you can leave now. If you've ever rolled your window down and thrown a full bag of McDonald's trash out of your car, you can just leave and I won't miss you. Earth will remember this. See, choices do matter. Charge blast boost. Exclusive to charge. We don't even have that cool gun yet. I feel like I haven't gotten a new gun in a while. But we just gotta keep playing and we'll get the uh, upgrade materials. And then we get to choose which upgrade thing we want first. There's another echo. We're getting stuff. Just, ooh, health boost. That was like a high tier health boost. Is 26% more health better than recovering health 29% faster? Vampire versus just have more health. I think just have more health sounds better to me. Because if I stay healthy longer, is on the other side of logistics. I can play aggressively longer. Mannequin Supplement. The item was last owned by Madame Blank, an operatic performer from Berlin. After her career ended in a public scandal, she relocated to redacted Maine for unknown reasons. With her came the trappings of her old life, including this item. Locals report she rarely left her home in the short years she spent. After her death, caused by blank, the state held a public auction of her belongings. Various conflicting first-hand reports exist, but testimonies provided by witnesses of the event do contain some common elements. Most every witness saw numerous mannequins breaking through the house's windows, tumbling outside. Some witnesses report bright lights, some high-pitched singing. These are unverified. Numerous civilians in the house at the time of the incident were hospitalized for injuries. Two were crushed to death. Agents were dispatched upon seeing an article regarding these events during the Bureau's daily scans of, the nationals of national periodicals. The item was quickly identified and brought to the Bureau. Maybe we'll find it. We're going to find something here in a second. We're about to find the anchor, I think. Where am I on the map? We're almost back to logistics, actually. I think I just came from here, right? Yeah, we just came from here. Is this where the guy was? No, it's a different one. Federal Bureau of Control. Remote thought. Chat, I cast remote thought on you. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about right now? Did I accidentally go the right way? <laughs> My brain, it hurts! Oh, uh, I need to get groceries. Hey, me too. You want to get mine? We didn't go down here, did we? I believe I have reunited Wells with his friend. Or... Not. But that's okay. We did cleanse this area. What you got? Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hang on, I wasn't done looking. 
We got ground zero over here. Let's see what we got. Info-wise. Clocks? Uh-huh. Plane in Alaska. Boats? Cargo trucks? Albany, Richmond, Atlanta, Topeka, Salt Lake City. How come Santa Fe is marked? And then Pip is as far down as possible. I live there, Pog! Catch me! What does it all mean? Something's wrong. Good question. Shit. Give resources so I can upgrade gun. Wait, did you guys see that? Out of the corner of my eye, I spy a door that can be opened. Processes and best practices. And between 2010 and 2015, we responded to blank AWEs. For comparison, note we only responded to blank between 95 and 05. Is this rise a result of redacted improvement in our detection procedures or coincidence? We can't say for sure. Which is why this proposal for an AWE task force to be created within the hierarchy of the investigation sector has been compiled. We need to spend more time examining what causes these, rather than just explaining them. No, you cannot pick that up. Horowitz. Oh, God, no. My face when my back seat is wrong. You <laughs> this dude is a boss now. You gotta kill him, man. He's going for you. Where's he going? Throwing metal pipes at my dude. He's barely phased. <laughs> He's going for his old buddy. At a very rapid pace. I can only throw so many things. These are my most powerful abilities. And there's no health in here. Well, there is health. You do damage to him to get health. Oh, I need to be a left-handed psychic thrower. That would be way easier. Some long distance... Man, imagine being a psychic, like, baseball pitcher. You're just throwing baseballs? I should talk to Wells. From, like, second sure base? Okay. At, like, 200 miles an hour? I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. And thanks for coming to get me. Horowitz's HRA must have been damaged in the threshold. Guy never put himself first. So his vest At was least damaged. The anchor item is still locked away down in the clocks. I hope it rots down there. That altered item needs to be dealt with before it hurts anyone else. I should go back down and contain it. Head to the executive center. Did I just not find it, or? They could use a medic. Thank you, director. I'll go see what good I can do there. But well, I'm like the best director there's ever been. I'm like helping people personally. You know what I mean? 
I'm getting my hands dirty in the field, not just sitting behind an, a desk somewhere. Directing all the peons, I'm actually telling them what to do, where to go. Let's see what we got. I know I got at least some uh, two ability points if I want. Uh, we were saving these before, but now... Launch large objects, yes. Give that, please. One more to get a personal mod slot. None of these cost one, so we'll just wait. Astral Construct-wise, still can't make anything, but we're real close. Construct, Construct Charge is only one more corrupted sample. Two memory. Spin ain't getting upgraded for a while, unfortunately, and this is not far. Pretty close to getting a new weapon. Charge. All right, investigate the room. I think we can just TP from here. To here. And that would probably be best. Spend that money. Can we go back to the clock area? That's where we're going. We got a mission to go investigate it and seal it off. Do we need to do more side stuff to upgrade? Well, this is side stuff, actually. This is not even the main mission right now. So we're kind of we're kind of doing the side quest to check out the um the strange objects that are causing all these problems in the first place. What are the little lights on the floor? Um those are elements. So you can pick up elements to heal yourself in combat. That's pretty much what they're for. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Now, how to get to where we're going. Because this is sealed with that, like, foam stuff. How did we get, um, in the first place? Because you teleport in here, then what? Up and over? So you can destroy concrete walls, but not foam. Well, it's it's reinforced steel with foam sealing it. It's been sealed. I can only destroy a little chunk of concrete, see? Look how little that chunk is. It's very tiny. I'm not God. Okay, here we go. This is where we're supposed to be going. Long distance rocket. Um, should I even mess with those guys or just ignore them? I don't have to fight them. This is the safe room Well showed me. I wonder if they chase me in here. They might just chase me all the way in here. I have no idea. But I'm going in. To the altered item clock room. This is a much bigger safe zone than all the other ones. Uh, threshold with effect redacted manifested in the containment sector in the middle of the department. Simultaneously, numerous clocks appeared in the area, injuring and killing many people. After rescue operations were completed, rangers were sent in to discover the threshold's epicenter. The sheer amount of clocks made the expedition impossible. The area was sealed off after removing the clocks. It's kind of like uh, when you look on... A picture and somebody tried to blur the name of the person to protect their identity but they left one section of their phone on the text message so you can see who it is anyways the department was relocated in the area abandoned researchers theorized the threshold introduced unstable matter to our di dimension which adopted the form of the blank as blank would introduced to more stable blank Hmm, could that really be a blank? I don't know, chat. Could be. It's possible. Great. More clocks. That is why we're here. Heading into this self-marked danger zone. Just piles of clocks in corners. And a large chasm! 
Cool. Can't wait to impress everybody with my sick platforming parkour skills. As I have all day today. How am I supposed to get across that? That's not something you pick up. We oh, weapon mods full. That's the problem. Well then, why? Okay, why even have a limit on that? They're trying to encourage you to throw old ones away. I get it, but still. Most of them are useless anyway. Projectiles fired plus five on a weapon we're not using. Cool. How do you get across that? Oh yeah, there's the anchor. And... Can I wall jump yet? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Just seeing if there was some invisible floor. the whole way you lose altitude is the problem I mean there's no way you're gonna make that but you have to be able to go somewhere to get all the way up to these why would they just put these up here if you couldn't get to them we're in a redacted sector, so let's see. Let's see if there's something else more than meets the eye. You might only be able to get there if you can fly, but it's weird that she says at that moment, like, I'm gonna go. All right, let's go take care of that. Before it becomes a big problem. Oh, but you can't yet. Oh, well, like I wanted to, so I guess I, I guess I'll just have to remember to come back here. Just fill the chasm with clocks. Well, chat, just remember to come back here. After we unlock the ability to fly like an eagle. For now, we must resign to our fate. Nope. Later, nerds. Okay, now, for the main story. We're back. My brother's kid. Oh yeah, we're going to find Dylan. That's a fun, that's a fun sounding quest. I mean, Dylan's probably insane. I assume we start from logistics and go up. Listen, we're all nerds here. Just remember every area in the game. That's right, Riku. You've got it now. You understand. I can't believe Tox didn't try to stack clocks. What, in the pit? Just get as many clocks as you can, fill that void until it fills up? CS Cash says, hey Tox, just finished watching Dark Souls vids and love them. When do you plan on playing Dark Souls 2? Glad you had fun. Uh, Dark Souls 1 was amazing. Really, really, really fun stream. Some of the best of the year. We'll probably do Dark Souls 2 in the next, um, realistically, probably the next month or two. I don't know exactly when. Um, I'm not really in a rush, as you can tell from the time between Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1. 
within the next 365 days, absolute guaranteed. Yes, exactly, Tecmo. Um, but yeah, because the thing is, once Dark Souls done, you can't do it again. There will never probably be a Dark Souls 1 stream, unless it was like randomizer or mods. But certainly, you can never do a blind stream again. So, not really in a rush to like burn, burn out. In memory of the heroic agents who gave their lives to forces known and unknown for the protection and greater knowledge of all humankind, we honor their sacrifice. Checkpoint. Remove sh shoes and coats. Shaken hands. That's the, um... That's uh, Trench and Darling, I think. Or did I just make that up? I don't think you go through here. <laughs> At least not yet. My lawyers will contact you. Oh, uh, why? Is it going to take you 365 days to get a lawyer? They're pretty expensive, you know. Wow. My man is pretty powerful. How's that miss? I'm gonna die. I got heals. Do you guys have security clearance six? Because I don't. I would like your key card though. Yes, I do. I do. Well, you guys you guys must know a lot about this facility than if you have security clearance six, but uh, it's not good enough. I'm gonna get nine. <laughs> Alright, we should pay attention to the map. Actually, the map is literally zero help. And you're just moment to moment moving around. Yeah, rip too many special characters. Rip. <laughs> okay, that echo. Didn't we just need like one echo or something? Alex, just redacted. Come on, just redacted. That's poison dust. Beware the poison dust. That's what got me killed when I fell down that one time. Oh, we got zombies. We got clickers. When is uh, Last of Us 2 supposed to come out? On PlayStation 5? <laughs> Are they ever gonna release it? It's this year, right? Isn't it like actually November? <laughs> Looks like a little kid in a Halloween costume. <laughs> it's like trick or treating right here. Oh, that was a collateral. Oh my god. Careful. Easy. What is shooting me? 
Okay. Well, that answered that, I guess. It's interesting that these are, like, slow moving. Wow, that was, like, three or four echoes. Back to back. I'm gonna have to start micromanaging my weapon mods, I guess, because I feel like I'm full again. All right, I'm about to delete all tier two, but I don't... Listen, do you see this? That's the same symbol. This is the same symbol. Let's just look for a similar symbol. This is like a mini game. Do we have any, like, um... That's a tier four, so this one's lower. This is tier four, so this one's lower. But that's super projectiles fired. We could probably get a second... Second mod. But yeah, tier two stuff seems like it's kind of... Also not very useful right now. Please play it. It's releasing on Redacted. But Last of Us 2? Isn't it? Isn't it actually releasing in November? I didn't just make that up, right? So it looks like all the people down here turned into mushroom men. This is like where they're supposed to uh, clean themselves up. Well, chat has been fully redacted. I don't, I don't have any more permanent marker left to redact you anymore than you've already redacted yourselves. Now, the real question is, will this funny chat joke last the entire stream? Or will you get bored of it? <laughs> That's the question. How long will it take you to get bored of it? Or will you actually just keep redacting yourself the whole stream? <laughs> I feel like I'm having a stroke. Because some people are writing things they normally would write. Except they're redacting one word. What? 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 what, what? Health twenty percent. No. Shield strength fifty three seems pretty good. But I like sea speed right now. Well, you guys made it a lot easier on me to not have to re-chat so I can just focus on playing. That works for me, I guess. He knows what chat normally writes. We gotta find the tier 6 key card. Wolf Globe. No unique procedure. Context should be limited, though, as some feel report feeling disoriented after touching. Item is handmade, set in dark wood. The item itself is lacquered, hand-painted, spins freely on all axes. While the con continents and oceans are recognizably those of Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous redacted and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tanrelio. There are no signatures left by its marker. Maker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect grows worse with prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been d observed in blank handlers. Am I gonna am I gonna get to spin the globe? Don't touch it, or your brain's gonna get fuzzy. All right, so somewhere here. Past all the floating people, who I've still not attempted to shoot out of the air. Did I just left for dead myself? No, but that was definitely... What sound was... What NES game sound was that? Oh, we're going back to the hotel soon. 
Is he using ray tracing? No, because OBS doesn't like DirectX 12, even though my computer can handle it. RTX is off. Is what the bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the his found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Don't let him out. It's too late. It's too late for that. Okay, so this is uh we just unlocked the shortcut, right? Cuz This was um, closed before, now it's open, so we can go all the way through. But it did, RTX on did look really good, didn't it, chat? Without the stutters, ray tracing actually looked really nice. Hey, C's accelerator, we're actually using that. But we might already have it. I guess you could get two of them and like stack it. But I'm gonna say we're not gonna do that. Can't use that as a crutch. You could. Maybe it would be good. I don't know. Is this where we popped out from? I am totally lost. I was looking for a key card, but I think we need to go further before we can get the key card. Okay, let's go. Time to head to the hotel and casino. The rule of three applies. One. Oh god. That's new. Two. Three. It's Dylan, he knows. Ignore that. That's, uh, the janitor will clean that up. Let's, um, try the second one. Seems normal enough, I guess. Hold on. Okay, I thought the door on the right was open. We've never opened a single door on the right. Oh, the painting's upside down. So something was something else wrong besides the whole room being up. Wait. Oh. Okay. I guess we had to rotate the room. We had to rotate the painting, which rotated the room, to give us the key to go through the door. So that we could go here. Eight sixty four P. Whoa, yeah. High def, ultra high definition. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. <laughs> It was actually when I got to the halfway point. I was like, if I fall, 
That would be so embarrassing. And it happened. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Oh, my. Where? You know what? Good thing we unlocked the shortcut. That wasn't even gonna... It wasn't supposed to be a joke. I promise. Didn't we already look at this? is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? At least we don't have to go through the motel a second time, because that would be weird. Humming. Speak with the Panopticon supervisor. Watch your step. Oh boy. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh... Well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there, and it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV, it's, uh... Have it's we read about the TV yet? Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. I told Salvador it was dangerous, but no. Why listen to Langston? I'm just a pin off the supervisor. The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. It wants me to go a step further. Where's the spot? Where is it? There's a sweet spot. The sad thing is, this exists in real life. There's a, um, there's a restaurant that I go to that um, has a chime anytime the door opens. It senses the door opening. The problem is it also senses people who are sitting at the booth near the door. So the chime just sounds for the entire duration. All day, every day. Instead of just uninstalling the chime, the people who work there have just become self-adjusted to listen to it non-stop. Just uninstall the chime. I can do a thing. Construct charge. Absolutely. We got a new weapon form. A 
and then we gotta save for some upgrades. Alright, let's replace spin, because I'm kind of tired of it. Damage while aiming. Let's Can we take this out and replace it with something else? Okay. Charge level 1 holds up to three explosive projectiles that can stagger enemies caught in the blast. Energy gain from headshots, ammo cost down, blast radius up. Yeah, I think that's the one. Which gun is it? Wait, did I not switch? Charge. Okay. Alright. I feel that. So you can just do one off? It's just a rocket launcher with 64% more charge. Well, if you're going to use that, then Pierce... That kind of does what Pierce does. So let's go back to the shotgun. And I'm in favor of projectiles fire, fired plus five. Five seems pretty substantial. Sorry for blowing you guys up. Okay, well, I was going to give you a proper burial, but just bashing you into the nearest pole works, too, I guess. Um, the pin up to God. Wait, is Gamer Death Bot already on alert? How is Gamer Death Bot already here? Dodge efficiency and an. This one's rare. Ooh. Delete the tier two ones. I don't even want them. Especially the tier ones. Because it's already been three hours. Wow. Where does the time go? Where does the time go? It's a mailbox. Being observed. Unit 13. Uh, looks like an, a picnic basket in Bay 14. Bay 15 has a rotating fan. 16 has got the hammer from the fair. I assume we'll be able to <laughs> interact with something here. Um, where, where am I now? What, you guys hear that noise? Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? Benito, what's up? I don't think she's telling me everything. One more month before I get my redacted. I hope you remember the redacted and redacted you promised me four years ago. Don't forget redacted because my redacted depends on it. Eat tau cheese. Hey Benito, you've picked you've picked right up on the on the funny joke today. Thanks for 47 redacted in a row. I appreciate it. this? Nothing. It escaped. Hello? Is, it, is anyone there? <laughs> it's the fridge. Hold on. Hold on. Let me cleanse this uh, bonfire first. Hello? Is, it, is anyone there? Sterilize crucibles with incantation 3101A before reusing. What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. So someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. <laughs> My super blades never showed up. 
Can you help me? Damn. It's the fridge with the with the drawings I'm sorry. on it. There's an emergency. I'll come back, I promise. Okay. Okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. <laughs> fridge duty. How am I supposed to get around to him? There's a there's a locked door here, so there's definitely a way to get behind. This one's closed down forever. And I someone else is yelling over here. They're doing more than yell. All right, we got some new toys to play with. And they are not heat seeking. Hopefully that's okay. Oh, they, they've been shooting the rockets this whole time. Now I can shoot the rockets too. I actually don't have a good weapon to handle these guys. I think I just have to wait until they attack. Shotgun is terrible, man. All right, let me get an ally in the sky. That'll probably work. <laughs> you good, man? You're glowing kind of green. There was a green light in... Who did that? I'm glad one of us knows the number. What number? Which number are we talking about? Is it SCP number 81? What's that one? Somebody look that up. What's SCP 81? We're talking about SCP redacted. How many frames am I getting right now, Cox? Redacted. All frames have been redacted. That's all that matters. Hey. Internet, chill out. SCP-81 is a contagious virus that appears to be a mutant of the redacted virus, but with redacted segments in its RNA instead of redacted, the virus only causes symptoms in humans with rats as passive carriers. SCP-81 can be spread through rat exposure or body fluids, including sexual intercourse. Did you... I'm disappointed in some of you. You know who you are, rats. Don't. You know who you are. Cool PowerPoint stream? Yeah, I was just trying to um, give some tips and tricks so you can pass your, like, 7th grade history presentation tomorrow. Scrub. Nobody uses door stoppers anymore anyway, so you gotta get creative sometimes. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. <sighs> it's an old TV. Here we go!
Jeez, what happens if you watch TV if you're supposed to be asleep? I know that you're out there watching claymation wrestling when you're not supposed to be. I know you turned it on to watch Adult Swim. We know you're not watching Nick at Night anymore, because this is like the time Dick Van Dyke comes on. What was the name of that old wrestling show? With the celebrity? Celebrity Deathmatch! Turn that one on after you're supposed to go to sleep when uh, they don't know you're watching. Can I have my frames back? We appear to be in a topsy-turvy office. Oh, this place looks crazy. Hmm. Unmapped area. So where does this go? All the way back to the Panopticon. Don't worry, chat. The frames will clean up in just a sec. They always do. They just gotta dump, like, a certain amount at peak hours, and then it clears itself out. Something's up there. But we don't have a flashlight, so I don't know what it is. Like first person James Bond intro music video. <laughs> When's the uh, Idris Elba Bond supposed to come out? Alright, but seriously, you could like chill out anytime now. All right, before we do this segment, since uh, we're having some, like, instability anyways, might be a good stretch break. I was told by Gamer Deathbot to stretch my legs lest I die. He's not going to be Bond? I thought he was going to be. Who's going to be Bond? Who's the next Bond? Frozen Cam. What happened? Why is it frozen? <sighs> Hold on. I just unplugged it. <laughs> nice face. <laughs> His got him. Yeah, I started looking at the refrigerator. Hold on, I think I can just alt tab. I think I can just alt tab and then deactivate and then reactivate. Now I'm even, now I'm really red. Now when you guys joke about me being red, it's actually true. <laughs> Hold on. Why is this so red? <laughs> There's like no reason for this. Oh, here we go. Hold on. <laughs> now it's spooky, spooky dark. That should at least be a little better. That little, that should be a little better. All right, camera's fixed. Uh, let's take a minute. Pee break, drink break. Come back. Find Dylan. Hopefully find uh, internet stability. Find non-wine dog. Hey, are you running underneath the green screen as fast as you can? Going back and forth as fast as you can. Yes, he needs to go out. So we're gonna do that. All right. Be back in like five minutes. Thanks for waiting, chat. See you in a sec.
All right. Yo. What up? Pop Tarts! Is this the Pop Tart streamer? Yeah. Hey, Jimmy Shoes. For Cepheus, I got some iced tea. Some good old iced tea. Chat, remember to get up and stretch to prevent gamer death. And occasionally eat a little snack. Pop Tart is rated 4 out of 10. That's pretty low. Ouch. One of these times I'm going to actually toast a Pop Tart. Not on stream, though. You can have all three. He was not affected. I have a feeling this is going to be hard. That's eh, pretty strong. Let's try and take out the wee ones first. 